Hello friends, today we will discuss important points to remember for site engineer. This basic knowledge every site engineer should know. So stay tuned and watch this video till last to know which are the basic points for civil site engineer. Welcome to TND Construction. I have prepared this video keep in mind for the newcomers and college going students and fresher students are coming to work on site. They should know basic things perfectly. And this video is very useful for site engineers, supervisors and foremen who are working on site. First point is clear cover to reinforcement bars, environmental effect and prevent from corrosion. Generally standard covers are as follows. We keep footing 50 mm for raft foundation bottom cover is 75 mm top cover is 50 mm for beam 25 mm for slab 20 mm for column 40 mm and for staircase 15 mm second point weight of steel bar so weight of steel bar is calculated by the simple formula d square by 162 in this d is in mm diameter of the bar and uh, this value is coming weight of bar per meter 8 mm 0.39 kg for 10 mm 0.62 kg for 12 mm 0.616 kg for 12 mm 0.88 mm these are the values should be remembered the next point is one way slab in this the ratio of longer span to the shorter span as shown in photo if is greater than or equal to 2 then the slab is known as one way slab load is transferred in shorter direction of the slab in this main reinforcement bar is provided only in one shorter direction and longer direction is distribution bar fourth point is two-way slab the ratio of longer span to shorter span is less than two then it is two-way slab two-way slab main load carried in both the direction the main reinforcement bars provided in both the direction number five is minimum bar used in the slab if we are using high yield strength deformed bar hysd bars then it should be minimum 8 mm and if we are using plain bar then it should be minimum 10 mm point is distribution bar distribution bar should not be less than 8 mm and should not be more than 1 8 of slab thickness if we provide more than this then cover cannot be maintained now seventh point minimum thickness of slab is 125 mm this is as for is code why because a slab may contain electrical pipes embedded into them around the diameter 20 mm or 25 mm so if steel is also there pipe is also there and we have to provide covers also but less than 125 mm thickness which effectively reduces slab depth at certain places which make cause cracking weakening of the slab and water leakage problems may come so we are standardized is minimum 125 mm next eighth point is compressive strength of brick so compressive strength of brick is depend on the type of brick first class second class but generally for standard common bricks used on the site is 3.5 newton per mm square this is the load carrying capacity of brick under compression and water absorption of brick should not be more than 15 percent of its dry weight now next ninth point is pouring of concrete or maximum free fall of concrete should not be allowed more than 1.5 meter because if we increase height or if we pour the concrete more than 1.5 meter concrete gets segregated to avoid segregation of concrete we are not exceeding pouring of concrete 1.5 meter tenth point is excavation work for basement above 3 meter should be in stepped form because if we cut vertically more than 3 meter so soil cannot resist it may slip to avoid collapse of soil 11th point is electrical conduit should not run through because column transfers the load if electrical conduit pass from column which may make weaker the column 12th point is dimension tolerance cube is plus and minus 
टू एम एम वी आर यूजिंग ऑल द क्यूब टेस्टिंग ऑफ कॉन्क्रीट इज डिपेंड ऑन दिस क्यूब हाउ वी आर प्रिपेयरिंग द क्यूब एंड फॉर टेस्टिंग इफ डायमेंशन इज वेरी इट मे अफेक्ट द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ नाउ पॉइंट इज पी एच वैल्यू ऑफ वॉटर शुड बी लेस देन सिक्स वॉटर यूज फॉर मिक्सिंग एंड क्यूरिंग शेल बी नाउ द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज सॉइल फीलिंग Soil filling work as per IS code for every hundred square meter. Three samples are taken for core cutting test. Lapping is not allowed. The bar having diameter more than T C mm. Lapping transfers the load from one bar to another bar and take development a length of higher diameter. It is generally practiced on site. Longitudinal reinforcement of column should not be less than 0.8 percent of cross sectional area. and should not be more than 6% of cross sectional area but generally on site we are practicing for design purpose 4% now next 17th point is minimum bars of square column is four numbers and six numbers for circular column 18th point is samples taken for testing of fresh concrete generally minimum six cubes are casted for each sample first three cubes are testing done for 7 days and and other three cube testing done for 28 days and this testing is done generally for every 30 m cube volume of concrete or each structural member of concrete like for column for slab or for other structures or each batch or brand of cement this testing should be done 19 point is slum of concrete slum values describe workability of fresh concrete generally for light reinforced structure we keep value 25 to 75 mm standard and heavily reinforced structures we are taking values 75 to 100 mm but it depends on site to site and site condition curing days required curing is necessary to increase strength of concrete and to decrease permeability of hardened concrete curing of concrete is done to maintain the optimum moisture content curing period is for super sulfate cement 7 days ordinary portland cement 10 days and mineral and admixture added cement 14 days thank you so much for watching this video friends i hope you have learned something from this video for more videos please subscribe my youtube channel dnd construction